All righty, we got a new shot here with sound. Let's go. Good morning, little baby. Welcome to your very first day of life here on the Catalina's Critters Farm. You're so flipping adorable. Good morning, little baby. Welcome to your very first day of life. Very cute. I like it. It's a funny idea. I got a couple of thoughts in terms of some of the cuteness, the posing, some of the expressions. I think we can tweak things a bit more. So flipping adorable. <laughs> it's very cute though. All right. So starting off with this. <laughs> just quick. It's once you get into uh, the, the polish level. Um, and I thought, let me see. Is there any way? I thought these guys were bigger, those wings. Because when I did a a rig walkthrough of this, I mean that they were pretty big. I mean they were, you know, about like that size. And I think it would be really cute to add that so it's not so stubby. Because right now what's happening is that there's just this weird deformation here that I think we could accentuate, uh, not accentuate, but eliminate by having these feathers, and then you can. There's more, it's almost like eyebrows in a way. Like we don't see the face, but then you can do some acting with the wings. There's more you can do. Like even here, when he tries to get back, maybe the wings go almost in front of it to, to cover or or maybe swat the fingers a little bit. And there's some stuff you could do. And I don't think we should scale them back. So it's just kind of a ball. Unless, you know, you don't want it to be bird-like. But I mean, you can, there's, there's also stuff up here, but that's okay to take away. But I would, personally keep this I would probably also have that foot more like this so it's a bit more triangle versus this almost feels like he's kind of leaning back and then forward but it feels a little bit off balance I don't know um it's all a tiny thing because to me he doesn't quite know yet that danger is here so to me the contrast would be if you have legs imagine out like that right so you got the toes here and blah blah blah, blah like that and then when he goes holy crap what is all this then you bring the legs in because now he's all scared and he tries to like he makes himself small to not be seen because he wants to you know protect himself so that there's some contrast so even when you go into this that way you can go from something like that to whoa and it's a bit more inwards and even like the the feet and talons and like on the toes that we call them are all curled in so it's not out like that but you're going from a visual of this to that, right? From big to small, even through here, because now again, we're slightly off balance. And with that hop this way, you would almost expect him to take a step to the left. I like that little adjustment there, but it's also a bit, this is super picky. And maybe, or maybe too early stage to be that picky, but with something that goes this way, the bounce and the weight and the off balanceness, like, this is going to bounce, 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 bounce this way, if you would exaggerate. And now the the ball, creature, whatever you want it to be, bounces back to the right, but can't really because the legs are not under either here or there, if that makes sense. Like they're on this side. So if, if this falls over, it can't bounce back the other way. That leg would have to be already here so that it can push that body this way, if that makes sense. And it can be subtle, like even this, you know, this foot can be kind of here and then it's just kind of a bounce back. That could be okay. But to me, it's, I would actually bounce this way and that adjustment bounce actually continue to the left and not go towards danger. <laughs> I mean, this is dangerous. So you would go oh, and bounce away, basically doing whatever that creature can do to get away from it. Like this is good, it goes away and that goes away. So I, I will keep that consistent. Because he looks so freaked out. It's not like, oh, it's just a turn around and then, okay, I'm curious, what is this? With maybe a lean forward, like, what is this creature? And then it goes back because now it's getting too close too fast, if that makes sense. And then also, uh, I will group maybe two of these toes together, one one a bit more than the other. This gets a bit better, but they're a bit evenly placed against her polishy, fine tuny stuff. <laughs> I think we are cutting a bit much into the pupil and iris there. I, you know, especially on something like this, then we're, it's kind of odd to go that far up with a lower lid for just a blink. 
I would bring up pupils and then the blink would be kind of like a half, you know, quarter blink. It would just be like a tiny bit up a little bit and, uh, and just, you know, maybe what you have here, but not do so much on the lower ones. And if you're that close up for polishy stuff, every time the eye darts down, the lids will go down with it. And when it darts up, the lids will go up with it a little bit to add that kind of fleshiness of that surrounding part, which of course, all detail stuff for later. <laughs> she comes in. The first thing that I, I felt like is that she is looking way past somewhere else and not to that ball creature. Same thing here. Now it's looking way past to the right and lower. Like I never feel the connection unless she is right next to, hold on, wrong tool, right next to this guy. And this guy is huge. You know what I mean? Then it will almost kind of work, but she's not. She's far away from it. So watch out for the eye line for all of this here. Hey, welcome to your very Cause all of this felt a bit weird. Like she is walking welcome. sideways, but looking, looking past the creature until first. here. I feel it's more connected, but she looks a bit high. I would still look a bit lower into its eyes, but then it's also, she's happy with a little bit, like a little bit of sadness almost in there. So just watch out. You go, you go in and out of emotions. I won't say randomly, but like, to me, this this is a different mood than this. There's almost concern and sadness in there. And now she looks really concerned. And maybe first day of life, you know, like it's like she wants to protect it. Maybe. Then I can see that, but then it's almost to me. First day of life here on the Catalyst Critters Farm. You're so flipping. I don't know. Maybe. I guess. I guess that's that's the thing. She's happy. Comes in, realizes. Oh, uh oh, it's too cute. First day. I want to protect you. But it just. I don't know. It felt like a a lot of changes. Little baby, welcome to your very first day of life here on the Catalyst Critters. Because it's to me, what bumps me is that. To your very first day of life here. Welcome to your very first day of life. She says that while bum, 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 getting closer and getting into his face. <laughs> Versus to me, it would be she would come in, do all this, all this here, walking forward. And then when she goes, Welcome to your very first, Welcome to your very first life, is not like this, I'm about to grab you and kill you <laughs> type of thing. Like this is. For his little creature, this is so much movement and, and scary that to me, she would say, welcome to your very first day of life where she's already that close and she's she's softly putting her hand underneath to pick first it up day of life here on the instead of that. Life I know that it, to me, that's kind of what bumps me where it's like the line says one thing, the body does something else, and then this does something else again in terms of emotion. And, but it might just be me. Because then she goes into... I'm concerned. Again, fully in your face. <laughs> it's also a bit scary for the creature. And then, whoa, we're totally changing again the feel. And now again, a change and again in its face. And now back to being adorable, but watch out eyeline. Eyeline never quite matches what's going on here. So I think that will be my main, my main concern. How she goes just in and out of so many different emotions and she does one thing while saying something else while like there are three things the body language the language language and the facial language if that makes sense but maybe uh, maybe you have because i don't see what do you have here in your email i don't see anything mentioned there you are mostly concerned about the fluidity for the musical. Yeah, so my, I would leave it there and I'm, and you can let me know what you want to go for. Like, do you want to make it look like she's completely oblivious? She doesn't really realize what she does to the bird because clearly she's squeezing in and this guy's freaking out. Flipping adorable. And is this a constant state of shock and horror? <laughs> Or is this suddenly lids up going, oh, this is also cute. I like this. Like, it, to me, it seems like that bird is constantly freaking out. So maybe that's what you're going for. But I don't know. Then I would maybe not go into 
that territory where she actually does look concerned because then you're going into oblivious to aware to oblivious again i don't know it's just there's a lot of conflicting stuff in there but it might just be me um email me let me know we can, we can walk you or you can walk me through this and we can chat a bit more uh via email about the direction all right thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you